Snicker fam. Welcome to a brand new episode of the Snicker Dome. I'm your host, Snicker James, aka the Shoe Freak, aka the dude next door with all the kicks. Coming through with the third and final battle. Possibly the final battle. I feel like I want to call somebody out, but as of right now, this is the third and final battle between my good homie, OG Sneakers, and Cadillac Jackson. I'm not going to hold you guys up. I'm not going to keep making you guys suffer through sitting through my ugly face. So without further ado, I'm not going to hold you guys up because I know exactly what you're here to see. Let's do it. It's the sneaker down with the cream of the crops. We got the ones and twos. This shit don't stop. Walk up in the building, my shit gon' pop. Never know what I got in the box. Over your 12 swag too easy. What is going on, family? You done know it is your boy OG sneakers in the building. Five minutes of 90. What? Yes. The homie shoe freak reached out to a group of us and said, show your 90 shoes. And I was like, sure. I'll show my 90 shoes. And then I got the rules. And I literally ended up with only three shoes. No Jordans. Released in the 90s. OG colorway. I got five minutes, and y'all know I talk, so let's just jump right on it. Hit the social medias, OG Sneakers, on YouTube, on Instagram, on Twitter. O-G-S-N-E-E-K-E-R-Z. Like, comment, and subscribe. Business done, let's get to the kicks. I'm gonna go in order. Uh, two of these shoes kind of have a connection, and by the time we get to the last one, you'll probably figure out what that is. If you saw the first battle, you've seen this shoe before. It is the Reebok Omni Light Pump. I think I'm saying that right. Hope I'm saying it right. The D Brown shoe. Y'all, y'all know this. 1991 Slam Dunk Contest. Uh, D Brown or Boston Celtics. Dope, dope shoe. Don't have a lot of Reeboks in the collection, but for sure, uh, this is one to have. A classic Reebok Hexalite. And of course, the shh, shh, shh. Always bet on black. You, you can't go wrong with a black shoe. Definitely, definitely a 90s classic. Shoe number two. The Grant Hill. Two. How ironic. This shoe, like, to me, it kind of, when it dropped, it was rivaling almost any shoe that was out there to include uh, the Jordans of the day. Grant Hill was a mad popular player at that time, Detroit Pistons, 1995. This was the second signature um, shoe from uh, his Fila line. And, you know, today, like, you know, Fila shoes may be passe, but when this shoe dropped it was the ish just a really really dope shoe and definitely um in my opinion says 90s fila says 90s and the last shoe so i said the first shoe and the last shoe were connected they're connected by the slam dunk contest my last shoe was i i know what you're gonna say First of all, let me show you the shoe. It is the and one, and one, and one, and one, Tai Chi. Released in 1999, but it became famous at the 2000 slam dunk competition. Um, Vince Carter wore these and just killed it the competition uh, in that slam dunk. But yeah, this is the Tai Chi. That's some nice dope oriental branding there on the insole. Uh, probably, not probably, I would say this is the most iconic and one shoe. That's it, that's my three kicks. So we got 1999, 
1995 and 1991. You said three shoes, and three shoes was all I had, so that was it. If I had to go anymore, I'd have been in trouble because without showing Jordans, I don't have a lot of 90 shoes. Appreciate you including me. I don't know if I'm going first or second. I feel like, I'm not sure where you go. How do I, I'm gone y'all. You done know it is your boy OG Sneakers wishing all of you total sneaker battle family. One love, holla. Year. What's good everybody? It's your boy Cadillac Jackson back in the building doing a video for my man Shoe Freak. Shoe Freak hit me up, told me he asked a few people in the sneaker community to break out three of their favorite shoes from the 90s. They had to be wearable, had to be OG colorways. So I told Shoe Freak I got them. So we're going to start this off real quick with probably one of my favorite shoes in my collection one of my favorite shoes of all time is going to be the nike air flight hirachi these were worn by the fab five when they were at michigan uh that other team in north carolina and durham wore these we won't say names but these are one of my favorite shoes of all time this speaks 90s on so many levels so first shoe is the nike air flight hirachi uh, the second shoe, second shoe is a shoe that everybody loves, and that would be the Nike Air Trainer SE, also known as the Bo Jacksons in the Auburn colorway. One of my favorite shoes, dope shoe. I'm from New York, so you know that blue and orange hits on everything, just New York colors. You can't say 90s without mentioning this shoe right here. The last shoe, um, this shoe, in all honesty, made me get in the sneakers heavy. Um, it's one of my favorite shoes, top five favorite shoes for me. And that is the Nike Air Force Max. This shoe was worn by the Fab Five. This shoe was worn by Charles Barkley. You can't really find this shoe a lot. Um, this is like a grail for me. And like any anytime I see this shoe, it makes me want to put on a baggy pair of basketball shorts and black socks and go hoop. Um, if I could find this shoe dead stock, every year i probably would buy a pair every year so that's my three shoes that's it that's all i got for you it's your boy cadillac jackson follow me on ig follow me on youtube at cadillac jackson ig is cadillac underscore jackson twitter is cadillac jackson watch me on talking kicks wednesdays 8 30 with my man og sneakers and beard jedi i'll highlight y'all later Hey, yo, gotta take my hat off to OG Sneakers and my man Cadillac Jackson, because for sure, y'all came through with some heat. Cadillac Jackson, those Nike, uh, those Nike uh, Force joints, the black and gray, th that was the sneaker when I was young. That was the sneaker that got me into this situation that I'm in right now. So if I could either, if I could buy one of those shoes, not even a full pair, just one, I'm good. However, I definitely appreciate you guys for coming through, man. You guys, everybody, man, everybody who showed love, uh, from Black Ass African to uh, Kicking It With DD, IBA Sneakerhead, OG Sneakers, Cadillac Jackson, I really appreciate you guys for all the love, all the support. Also, man, like I said, for, for coming through, just shooting over the videos in no time, helping me out, I appreciate that. Now, this is the time we was waiting for. Y'all go down, comment down below, and just say who y'all feel like one who y'all who y'all feel like had the better three. Like I said, it's all in love for sneakers. It's no win, lose, or draw really. We just, you know what I'm saying? We just showing love and we just giving our opinion on certain sneakers. Also, 
giving people uh, an opportunity to show that we're not just buying all Jordans and all Yeezys and, 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 and all whites and all that. But nevertheless, man, I definitely appreciate it. The other two bottles will be down in the description. Also, Buckeye City Soul, what's up? 90s, 90s classic Buckeye City Soul, what's, what's good? What's good? It's your boy Stinky James, a.k.a. The Shoe Freak. Peace.